Well, today's another great day for film photography. We have a brand new film that has just come to the market. And it is the Street Candy Street Savvy. Uh, we're being told this is a brand new 400 speed film that's not repackaged cinema film. I know that's what you're thinking, Ava. It's not repackaged. It's not repackaged. Anyways, brand new film brought to us actually by Flick Film is the manufacturer. Flick Film, you remember them? They're the awesome team that brought us the Aurora film this year. Absolutely love this film. Shot my favorite picture in New Zealand right here. And I'm gonna print it big in my home. But we're not talking about this film today. The Street Candy film, we're being told, is somewhere between like a consumer film and between a pro film. So it's gonna be about $13 a roll. Let me, let me just go show you. Consumer films, pro films, really what's the difference? Consumer films, like our gold and our ultra maxes, are inexpensive. They're great color, but if you really want something nice, you have pro films like the Kodak portrait lines, at least for Kodak side of things. So since we're being told it's kind of a comparison between the two in terms of quality, we're going to be taking out a roll of Ultramax and comparing. So let's get this into the hands of the staff and go check out this new film. In the heart of Gorman, where the lights collide, got my 400 speed, got my 85 by my side. Yeah. Oh, oh. Shooting real moments, capturing real souls in a world of pixels, analog. Bro. They call it street savvy, we call it the way. Blake feels magic in the thought of the day. With every shot taken, every frame alive, it's a flash of the past that'll always survive. They call it street savvy, black and white dreams. Blake feels magic in the thought of the day. With every shot taken, every frame alive, it's a flash of the past that'll always survive. They call it street savvy, black and white dreams. the Daytona Boardwalk and we have the new Street Savvy film. We're gonna load it into our cameras and test it out. I heard that this can be compared to Ultramax 400, which I mentioned in the summer 2024 films that it's one of my favorite film stocks. What camera and film are you gonna be shooting with this summer? I'm gonna be using my Canon EOS Elan 2E and Ultramax because it's one of my favorites. Nice. And so we're gonna compare it. And the packaging is pretty, <laughs> pretty jazzy. <laughs> um, so, Paul, can we get some jazz music? One thing about this new film is that it's not DX coded. So if you have a camera like mine, or one that just reads DX codes, you're gonna have to manually set it. Keep that in mind. change the exposure to overexpose it to see how well this film can stretch since we're shooting in such bright daylight today with 400 speed so we're gonna look at that I'm gonna be shooting my 85 <laughs> I brought my 85 I brought my 85 to the poor boy scene captured in dreams then a land so keen shadow sliding past the neon lights city whispers coming up to fight
So now the girls are loading up the Street Savvy film and the Kodak Ultramax. We're going to get some one-for-one -one shots to kind of compare them since they were talked about being similar films. So let's get shooting. Bree, what did you just do? <laughs> I just opened the back. So, I just opened it, so... Oh, that's okay. Is it? Only like six or seven or five years old, but... Wait, oh we did like... Oh my gosh. No, that's a wine. Ava's in the zone, breeze in the frame. Shooting Kodak Ultramax, it just ain't the same. Opened up the camera, oops, slight leads through. Turn to slip up, mistake, and it's something new. Mike's in the lab with hyenas laughing loud. Before it fills the home, a hangout crowd. DJ on the pocket, John standing and true. Capturing moments like only he can do. Call it street sound, black and white dreams. Flick films, magic in the floor today. Every shot taken, every frame alive. It's a flash of the past that'll always survive. Call it street sound, black and white dreams. Flick films, magic, we're caught in the seams. Through the grit and the grain, this real runs deep. Send me through the street, memories we keep. Just trying to shoot a YouTube review. The retro way, no digital view. They say pixels are fast, but I feel space true. Like only we do On the street sad Black and white dreams In a world full of noise The silent screams Through the haze And the light leaves We find our place With the streets That we film We found our place Pushing these rolls of film and with pushed film you can use a telephoto lens because of the limited aperture you could really get more light where you wouldn't if you didn't push that. So we're going to do that and so you can see the difference in the push and so we can use the telephoto. Let's go. show up the telephoto and take a picture of that Burger King sign. Okay, so the team is back at the lab. Ava, I'll give that to you. Negatives are processed, right? Good. Yep. I'm assuming these are it. I'm gonna take a and <clears throat> this is my uh, <laughs> messed up roll that because I'm I'm a professional, guys. I swear I know what I'm doing, but clearly I don't. Mm, looks like someone opened um, the camera. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. I told you though it wouldn't be the whole roll. Thankfully, it's just the section. But thankfully, it's, just good. it's the whole roll. And like John said, I even wasted a few frames trying to get past the exposed portion. So overall, not too bad, but rookie mistake. Okay, let's get them scanned and see what they look like. What's up, chat? We're gonna scan some film. Don't forget to smash that like button. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Just the negatives look just like Ultramax. Just kidding. Power couple. Power hey. couple. Hey. I have to stop check mine. Although I don't know what that is. 
initial reactions is it's really nice base film. I see it looks like it's more cyan to me. Really? The reds are... Oh, I haven't gotten to red. That's why I said take a picture of the red car, because <gasps> I knew the red was going to pop. I don't oh, do you're cars. right about the reds. The I reds know. are... My shoes in one of them. Beautiful. Look at this, too. The blue here, the cyan. Man, if yeah. the both of those really pop, I think. Yeah. The, the picture you took of me jumping. Dude, this, the picture of this one. So much on the Dude, film. the red, you're right. Yeah, the red is amazing. Uh, really great colors. It, it is really good. I can totally see the comparison or comparing it to both Ultramax and Portra. Yeah. Um, skin tones are amazing. Really nice grain, it seems. Although I haven't seen it big yet, so. Nice saturation. Um, this is a really good film. Yeah, it's, I like it. So looking at the images on a better screen, um, the reds and the cyans really, really pop, and it looks great. I personally like it better than the Ultramax. It has a lot more contrast to it, so I really liked that. And yeah. I was really surprised by the reds and how brightly they popped. Um, I think I could compare it more to Ektar compared to Ultramax, comparing it to Portra. Portra does have better skin tones, but it's still capable to take a really nice portrait. So I like that. And I probably will be shooting it again. I did enjoy it, but I don't know. Ultramax still has it beat, so. Just don't open your camera. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> don't open the back of your camera when there's film in there. So I didn't get to shoot the film, but I got to see the images and they look great. Like Brie was saying, the color pop of the red was just insane. I was not expecting it. I was actually talking to Ava this morning. I was like, I was like, I'm not going to like this film, but I saw it and it looks really cool. Super contrasty. I don't know about it. If I like it more than the Ulster Max, they're at the same right now, but we'll see going forward. But it's an awesome film and happy it's on the market. Well, folks, that's a wrap on the Street Candy Street Savvy. We'd love to know your thoughts, so leave a comment down below. What do you think of this new film? We're really great to have it on the market. Like John said, definitely a competitor to Ultramax and other consumer films. So let us know what you think, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh wow, why are these light leaked? What? Free with the light leak. What? Somebody literally sabotaged me. <laughs> it was John.